you have a motion on the minutes? I make a motion to approve the minutes as written. Do we have a second? I'll second that. And I'm also my like, kudos to the system that we now have, have using four minute taking. It's much appreciated. Fair enough. Um, all those in favor of approving the minutes, raise your right hand. Those opposed? Motion passes, well, I guess, eight. Yeah, well, probably one abstention, but um, I just realized we, we actually have alternates here tonight, I would assume. We have two spots open where two alternates can fill in if you want to assign the alternates because we have three alternates in the room. So who are the alternates currently? Okay, so for tonight, I'll appoint Mr. Mativier and um, Ms. Nugent. Win. 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 Sorry. Um, so I'd also like to welcome Ryan Powers, our newest member, who is an alternate. Um, also recognize that Laura is now our city council representative after winning the recent uh, special election for the city council seat at large. So um, that's why I'm filling in his chair tonight. And uh, so I guess next order of business would be the projects of mineral impact. Ms. Mears? Yes, good evening. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, 17 Lincoln Street uh, was an application for a storm door replacement was approved as a minimal impact and 25 High Street application to renew a prior HDC approval um, to demolish a single story addition in the rear and site and exterior building improvements was approved uh, with the conditions that uh, it had to be exactly as submitted or else it will have to come back to the historic district. <clears throat> Moving on, the next uh, item three is public comments by visitors. If we have any visitors who would like to make any general comments not concerning a agenda item tonight, this would be the time to do so. Seeing none, we'll move on to old business. Do we have any old business before the board? None this evening. All right. New business. Uh, 5A is Fabian Flanagan is seeking a certificate of appropriateness to construct a front porch on a property located at 64 Winter Street in the residential single family A with historic overlay. District Assessor's Map 12, Lot 23, HDC case number 44, 2024. Ms. Mears, do you have any info on this? Yes, thank you. The applicant is proposing to construct a 6 by 24 foot Front porch, the deck is proposed to be constructed with Trek clamshell decking with composite fascia, four foot wide steps with rails. Um, this application is complete and ready uh, for the board to act on. All right. And do we have Ms. Flanagan here? If you don't mind coming up to the podium and just State your name for the record, and if you have anything you'd like to add to this. Hi, I'm Fabian Flanagan. Uh, have you bring the microphone down just a bit so people at home can hear you? Yeah. Thank I was you. asked to bring some uh, pictures. I can't find a house like mine in order to do, you know, to, to show you. Um, but what I have, I oh, guess I have to bring them. On the left side, if you have a picture of the house, um, the left side is um, two, two doors. Yeah. So on the left side, we will have stairs back there going towards the walkway. And on the right side, we will have stairs going that way. Um, these stairs will be 48 inches wide. Um, so I'll pass these pictures down, but yeah. we, we do we have just to wanna at the show you where the stairs are going to be. Okay. I'll circulate these pictures around then. So this this is an example of what you're proposing to build as far yes. as the style. Yes. Uh, compose it. Yeah. Okay. We'll have her go back. Um, to I was trying to get a hold of the. Uh, I just need you to go back to the podium. So there's a microphone there. Thank you. I tried to to get a hold of the. Uh, uh, contractor today, um, I wasn't. It didn't answer my email. Um, so I went and did some research to try to come up with the pictures I submitted to you. Okay. 
So I, I guess we'll start off with, is there any questions from board members concerning this? Laura? There is, but I don't know if the picture is circulating might answer a couple, so I'll let others go first. Yes, Ms. Schoen. Thank you. So uh, I'm trying to just figure out where this is going. So I'm looking at the very front of your house because you were you gave us some great pictures. Is this going to go in front of your bay window? Yes, exactly. Uh, it's going to be between the two doors. Uh, the bushes are going to be gone um, because in front of each door I have brick stairs that are no good. <laughs> They're a hazard. So instead of redoing brick stairs, I wanted to have the either, uh, I think they call it Aztec or Trek, uh, low maintenance. And they're going to go over the stairs, so from one side of the stairs to the other. And um, there's just going to be a, a small, maybe for just a person, you know, to walk in front of the bay window. So literally, you're going to cut the bushes down in front of the bay window and build essentially a deck. I'm going to remove them. In front they're going to be gone. In front of the bay window, there's going to be a deck. Yeah. Is the deck then going to be covered, or is it just a walkway? Not covered, no. Just a walkway? No. Are you removing any of the trim, or are you touching anything on the bay window? Or oh, yeah, I'm not changing anything on the house. I'm just changing the way to get out of the house. And it's not going to have a railing that's going to block windows or, you know. Uh... Any additional questions? Yes. Um, do you have a plans to put, I, I see that it's, it's going to stick the, um, sorry, the, the decking level will be higher than the ground in front of it. Do you have any plans to put any kind of screening to hide the underneath? Yes. Um, and I did ask um, for, I don't, I'm not big on lattice, so I wanted something that will, um, so no creatures can go under it and nest and cause problem. Sometimes you see just the vertical boards. Have you yeah, considered why? that? Yeah, why? Just like the stairs. I mean, just like the the porch. It's not a deck. I don't see it as a deck because it's only six, you know, six feet. I mean, I'm not going to do much on six feet. So, why? I'm just curious, though. Then, if you're not, why do you want to connect between instead of just building new stairs over the brick stairs? Would okay. Uh, I have a elderly couple that lives with me, and basically those two doors, um, we really not use them. Uh, we use the back entrance, but the original front door is used maybe every, I don't know, it, it was just used two weeks ago. The lady was in respiratory distress, and the grand staircase is in front of the main door. If I don't, I only have a small passage between the bay window, when the fire department comes to, you know, rush her out, there's no way. Mm. They have to go <coughs> to the house, to the kitchen, to, you know, to the zigzag. But if I have those set of stairs in front of the front door, they can take her out, like they did. Um, over a week ago, mm. and you know, that's the reason why I want to say that it's not so much for me, but I know it's going to happen again, and that one I don't want a fireman to come through and just, you know, <laughs> make a hole through to get her out. Mr. Bativia, thank you. One of the things that your pictures. Or your or the deck detail that you provided does not show any elevation as to how far off the ground or close to the house in elevation 
where this deck attaches is it level with the, the stairs is it level so will it be attached underneath that bay window or on to it no it's not attached to the bay window it's going to attach to it no It'll, the deck will clear under it it's clear underneath it is just at the height of the landing of the tree step and do you know do you know that um do you know that space that would be left from underneath the bow window to the deck does that, that bow window is that the floor of the bow window is that flush with the floor of the room flush with what I'm sorry. of the living room is that the same level So it's not a sit. it's not a sitting platform in there, no, right? No. So it's you could walk right into that bay window. Yeah. Right. So it's about ten inches to the f foundation. You're attaching it to the foundation or the framework of the house. They're gonna. Um, I believe they're gonna attach it uh, to the stairs, the existing stairs, so they're not gonna move them, and also secure it obviously to the to the foundation but not touching the uh, the, the 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 siding or, or so it's not going to attach to the wood structure of the home but to the foundation do you know if this is going to so it's going to attach to the house it's not going to be a freestanding deck and like supported at the house or you the house is contributing to supporting the deck um did you understand it's hard bearing having a hard time explaining the house is going to bolt to the the deck is going to bolt to the house or is it going to really be supported by other columns near the house i think we have a phone that's too close to a microphone <laughs> it's more likely that static in the background uh, i think it's going to be both they have the post the post the next to the house or yeah i know and they're going to be yeah. away from the house that's a given yeah but will there be post next to the house? No. No. So the house is going to hold up that right. side. It's just have a railing around it. So yeah, that you no, can I understand. Fall off. And and there'll be railing on on each side of the stairs. That's it. So, so <clears throat> I guess the question I still have is it just to clear up this deck's going. The full width of the house from one corner of the house all the way to the other corner of the house is that correct no i just go from the door that has the uh, enclosed porch so it doesn't go all the way to the corner okay um it just goes to the door from the enclosed porch to the um if you face the house the the, the right side of the main door yeah so it's so it's just gonna go from the edge of the outside edge of both doors, mm -hmm. but not to the corners of the house. No, they're not. They doesn't go to corner to corner. No. And do you know how far that bay window protrudes out from the house? I see your diagram here. It says that it would be eight feet. I see. Uh, if I look from inside my living room. Uh, I think that from my couch to the window, uh, I probably have three and a half feet. So you'd have four. Except for inside, no, from the wall. I mean, inside yeah. the wall too. Yeah. So, you, so you'll have at least four feet outside between the deck and the railing. I, I mean, the the bay window and the railing. You'd still have four feet of space to walk between there. Yeah, there'll be space to yeah, but not big enough. Like I say, for a rescue chair to go through, mm -hmm. and I don't want them to go further out. I just want to get rid of those bushes and make it make it nice, make it look nice. And and just to understand where the stairs are positioned. If you're coming, as you're looking at the house, the door on the right. If you walk out of that door, you'd continue walking straight to go down the stairs. Right. The other door, you would have to walk out to the end of the deck and take a right. Correct. To walk down towards, I assume your driveway is in mm -hmm. that direction. So you'd have to make a 90 degree turn with that right. set of stairs. Okay. So. Yeah, I have an asphalt um, pathway right now. And 
and the pictures you passed around and what the railing's going to look like on the deck. The pictures you passed around to us? Yeah. Okay, I, I just, it looks different than the drawing you gave. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, I know. I was trying, like I said, uh, it's, without having any response, and I wanted to be able to show something. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that um, well, the railing will be white, but the porch itself will be uh, uh, gray, like a, a dark gray. And I saw Miss Barry with her hand up, so. Um, I have a question a little bit about the depth you have from the doors to the steps. Because um, you're saying that they're not going to get rid of the brick stairs from what I'm understanding from mm -hmm. your description. And there is a small gap there. But for how much, I'm guessing they have to put some kind of structure there and also have the decking there. I'm a little concerned about is there enough room? without actually dismantling part of those stairs for clearance wise? There is there is room uh, because you basically have like a, a half a step, the height of a half a step to get out of the house so to, the, to the landing or the, of the existing stairs. Is the intention to kind of have that like a flush landing with your door at that yes. point? Okay. And then my other question, kind of my understanding of this is almost like you're adding, I'm going to call it a, like a wraparound porch, except you're only doing it on the front and you're not overhanging an enclosure Right, I would love it. to do a wraparound, but. All right. Is there a particular reason, and Pim, I might rely on you on some of this, to do the railing around? Because I believe this might fall in that where you didn't have to have a railing due to code. I'm not sure, but I'm just curious. So a railing would not be required if the height of the deck is less than 30 inches from the grade at any point within six feet from the deck. That's how the language is written. So from the edge of that deck, anywhere out six feet, if that distance elevation-wise is 30 inches or under, a railing is not required. Okay. And... The only reason I'm asking that is I'm trying to envision, like, I just don't know what I am envisioning that decking going across the front, especially considering it is an open and there's no roof on it. Um, but again, you don't want somebody to walk off if you're not putting stairs the whole way. So I'm not sure how I, I'm wrapping my head around that one. So I'll pass it off to someone else if they have questions. Ms. So I guess I'm going to try and skin this a different way. Um, so the, the, the reason that you want this deck is because you have elderly people, right? Of these two doors, where do the elderly people live? Like, are they, which door do they need to come out of? The back door right now. The completely not either one of these. No, doors. it's the addition. And the reason you want a, an entrance on the front is because they can't come out the back door if the fire people come in? Right. Just... If... Like like I said, when where the, their bedroom is right on top of the uh, grand staircase, if I can call it that. Okay. So it's easier for a rescuer to get her right out the original front door. Which is the door on the on, where the on, porch is. The or? one on the on on the right. Okay, so the, the door, door with the, the with the door. the yeah. ornate detail. Yeah, okay. Because otherwise, they have to come down the stairs, go down the hallway, go through the kitchen, go to the addition, and... Okay. So, really what this sounds like is you, you want to have no stairs or a route of egress for this elderly person to come out these stairs. Well, no, that's why I want the second set of stairs, the one that's in front of that door. Um... I needed to do something with the stairs out front. And I don't want to have bricks. So I guess my, my question to you is, if there was simply a bigger landing pad of stairs and that were not brick, if we approved some other stairs that were a bigger landing that would hold a wheelchair or that had, you know, would that solve your problem rather than building a deck? Because it sounds like part of your issue is these stairs are are too narrow because they're probably just stairs. I already had asked somebody because before I had this contractor, 
who would do it with um the uh the 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 trek or Azak, I wanted to do stone. And just to remove the front stairs, he was charging me forty five hundred dollars for each set. And I stopped right there. So I said, well, I got somebody else to just go over it, get rid of the butcher, go over it, and make two sets of stairs. Okay. I'll open it to other people. Mr. Mativia? So, <clears throat> when I was asking about elevation, and you stated that the deck will not be attached to the wooden, the wood house part of it, but to the foundation, yet the brick steps are one step down from the door, the first platform, you step down out of the house onto the first platform, you're at, you're not quite past the bottom of the house yet, even standing there. So if the new deck is to just cover over that top landing of each brick stair, then the deck itself would have to attach to the house. Well, that's what I was discussing with the um, um, the contractor. <clears throat> we might have to remove the cement landing that's on those stairs in order to have it not being um uh, because they're in the way they're in the way i mean yeah if you want to attach that deck to the foundation and not the house it's not going to work those steps are in the way so some yeah, so part of them have to take go. off the landing which is yeah. quite a quite a bit you know. and i'm not sure you know there's other things to consider structurally attaching ledgers to brick walls is this can be complicated there's a code issues that sometimes if it's certain thickness of a veneer if it's a veneer at all it can be done i don't believe yours is a veneer no um so it gets complicated attaching it that's why i asked about will there be post next to the house um because helping it that way but then it, it's complicated it's not i know what you're looking for and I think what I'm feeling is that you're going to have this white railing in front of what I believe is a very attractive front gable and entrance to home. And it's very historic nature to have that New England style appearance. Um, and that grandeur of the home that you have is awesome. And I'm concerned that having the railing in front of it of this nature might detract from that grandeur so that, that i'm saving me money by not having it the railing um yeah i mean i don't have to have it you you, you I don't need, i need the railing i mean uh, on the side of the stairs i, I do need them you, you need a railing if there's more than four steps mm. so i don't know if that's going to be the case either but building code is very minimal and you can certainly do a lot better than that Building code wise, and there's no one I know of that wants four steps with no handrail, but it's allowed. But no one wants that. So there's a lot of thought processes that or evaluations that really make sure we're all thinking about if I can have just one railing. True, not you face, not face it, not not the the porch one, and and. Only the the railing, I mean, or the ramp for the stairs, not facing the street, because I have a fence right there, so I can have it against the fence, <coughs> and the other one it's uh, against uh, against the bush. I mean, then you'd be <coughs> you'd be taking you'd be talking about a, a no railings and a deck, and then railing on the side steps versus the front step, but. Um, We'll have no railing at all. I know there's no road, right? And is there railings on your steps now? No. No. Right. I thought it was required to have <clears throat> only if it's more than four. I have what one, two, three. Yeah, and the fourth one to enter the house. So, but I know you're only talking about. But no one likes that because it's very uncomfortable. But most people want the railing. But anyway. No, like I said, I don't have to have them. Uh, I just 
want something to cover those stairs that they are uh, uh yeah they, yeah they just degrade and they become unsafe and then they're, exactly and their and, maintenance and, uh, their maintenance and heavy. got you know uh, way too big and yep. i don't want you know net damage to uh, the siding and and everything else i mean it's it's uh aluminum siding so you don't have to worry too much about it but still Diane? Yeah, I think I think what a lot of us are kind of getting around to or looking at is is the impact on the, the the way the front of the house looks from the street. Will it still look like the historic house that it is, or will it have something on the front that doesn't really fit? Um, and that's that's our role, right? Is to to make sure that new things that are built fit within the historic district and match the character of the building that they're being attached to i'm i'm i uh i'm wondering if if we put aside costs which we can't do entirely for you can't do it all for sure of course you need to worry about that but if we just put a landing and steps in front of each of these doors replace the existing steps none i don't think any of us would have any problem with that and it would meet the fire department's need you know, it, it would serve all the purposes. And it's unfortunate that it, your first quote was so expensive. Um, I would encourage you to get additional quotes to have that removed because it's shocking to me that removing those is going to cost more than building all that extra deck. Um, you know, there's a cost to build extra deck as well. Yeah, I yeah, and and I, I wonder if it's just that you need to talk to maybe a couple more people to get a cost for removing the brick steps. But to remove the brick stuff, I still have to come up with something. Yes. So if I have to pay $4,000 for new stuff. I mean, your total quote now um, includes the cost of all that extra deck. And what I'm suggesting is maybe there's a way to remove that extra expense of extra deck. And that you'll end up paying the same as your current estimate if you're you know if all things went well because you're building you're not nearly as much deck so but if i did a wrap around you'll be okay with that that doesn't make any sense because then you'll have a railing around I, so i actually am curious i think we're all similar uh i know kim mentioned this i know liz i think this is where you're kind of going i'm curious as did you talk to the contractor at all about not connecting them? And I think this is Liz, Liz, where Liz is going. If you build steps on top of the steps you have there and just have platforms instead of connecting them through the bay window, so you would deck, have two decks basically where you wouldn't have to connect them and worry about that space in between. Because I think that's my biggest concern is having that connected and then doing a railing across the front of the house. That's where I don't think that's really going to look well with your house in that historic aspect. But having a platform wide enough in front of both doors and the new decking on top of the stairs, is that something you'd be open to without having them connected to each other? I don't think cost-wise it would be too much different because, again, we're eliminating some but parts. I don't have to have, I mean, even if I connect them, I don't have to have, as you say, I don't have to have a railing. So if I don't have a railing, you won't see any difference from the street. No, that's true. No. It's just like the solar panel that I have. From the street, you don't know that I have one. Right, but you're not proposing to put stairs across the front, so I'd be worried that somebody's going to walk off of it if you don't put a railing, too. <laughs> I know it's not required to have a railing. It's okay. just a 30 inch. I'm just thinking outside the box yeah, if there's go. another way of going where somebody won't walk off if we don't put a railing because they won't be connected, and I think it would look well to have it basically two kind of new front stairs my own deck is 18 inches off the ground and i have a rail on around the whole thing because i didn't want to walk off it so but it's not a requirement that's what i'm saying i just i just thought it would look nicer than what you look at it right now it will clean it up Do you have a, mr Paul? i just uh wondered is this a six by 24 deck or an eight by 24 deck because you have a uh, proposal here for a six foot by 24 deck and on the same bottom on the option it says eight foot by 24 and on the front it has six foot by 24. Let me put it up. 
full point out with a written application on page on the first page of her application in her own writing she writes a six by 24. yeah But on the proposal, it's a six by 24. So um, that being said, I'd have to agree with you. The one way or the other, I'm looking at these steps. And if you put st new steps in there, the bricks are going to come out. If you put a deck in there, the bricks are going to come out. Because there's no way that eight inch beam is going to be up above. It's going to be up above that door. Yeah, it's an eight by 24. Yeah. Exactly my point, uh, George, that the steps are in the way. Yep, they're definitely they're in the way, so they have to come out regardless. And I would have to agree with the other ones. I think two sets of stairs. I'd even put a rail one on it just for looks. Uh, and you get a nice nice set of stairs with so I, I good have, entrance. I have a question. You said you got a hold of your contractor, but you haven't heard back from him. Have you got a tentative start date on this? Well, the reason why I didn't hear from him because he sent me a contract, okay, that I have, and I haven't signed it until I come in front of you because why would I pay money not knowing if it's going to be approved? Mm -hmm. I already had to put strings for him to give me the dimension design that I forwarded to Anna. And so today when I was asking for a picture, because I know he, he showed me the, you know, his book with all the pictures, but... I uh, you know so uh, I guess I was asking too much without giving him a guarantee that I was going to go <coughs> and have it done if I also would like to point out to the board in his proposal in the paragraph he writes the deck is a 6 by 24 yeah. the option for an additional 1500 is to make it an 8 by 24 and it goes on to talk about options to add azac trim around the doors but the the proposal is the paragraph in his proposal and it matches her application wording too yeah and the the, the azac on on the doors the wood alongside the enclosed patio is getting rotten and i just want him to replace the trim which is white with azac so i don't have to be painting it every year that's on the inside the outside oh this is not around the original door this is on the enclosed porch so I will say this is a little hard for me. I appreciate that you're trying to make this more ADA friendly because of if you need to have someone escorted out by fire. I do understand that. I understand the stairs need to have something happen. I don't know that I really would have a, I understand it would come out further towards the street, six foot by eight foot. I don't know that I would necessarily care one way or another if it's a little bit wider because I think a deck is going to be a deck personally for me, it's just gonna come out further. I think my only hesitation with this particularly is connecting them in front of the house, in front of that bay window with a railing because I think it's just gonna look a little odd to have that railing around the front kind of hindering like the front bay, the two doors. It's just, to me, it's gonna look basically like a backyard um, deck and not a front entrance way like I would want to see for your front of your house. So I think right now that's my biggest hang up is just covering that with a railing of some sort. I have no problem with if some of the um, brick has to be removed to do a safer platform stairs, because again, stairs are something that have to be repaired, they have to be replaced. It is something that can always, again, be redone if whenever you sell the house and somebody wants to have brick or stone, they can take these down and put the brick back. But I I think that's my only hindrance right now is that railing and what that will look like at the end. But I'm curious what others are at. And I thought the railing was required. That's what I, I asked for it. But if it's not required, I'm not putting it. So, you know, as long as the grade is less than 30 inches, it's, 
I don't know if it is or not. I can't tell from here, but yeah. So another thought on this is if if you're doing a six foot deck, I don't know if you'd have a clear thirty six inch walk space in front of the bay window either. I don't I don't know if it would come out enough to then give you that walk space to get around it. Um, well, like I said, uh, the reason why I don't want it, you know, eight feet or ten feet, I, I don't want a deck. I want a porch, so I don't want something, you know, that goes into the middle of my lawn. Um, but it has to be obviously be passing the bay window, and a person like us could still be able to go through. Uh, if I wanted to go out the front door for some reason, uh, I, I could I, I could do it. Uh, I don't intend, you know, to put. The, Furniture, I would like to, but no. Uh. Uh, I'm just going to kind of put it out there. I, I'm not willing to approve something going in front of the bay windows. I, I'm willing to approve expanding the stairs. I do feel like there are a lot of people who would rip those stairs out locally for way less than $4,000. I don't know where you got that, but I, I would suggest you call... You know, there's a bunch of masons in the phone book who would be happy to come take those bricks out for you. Phone book? Sorry. <laughs> Google. I know. Um, I, I just, I feel like, I, I just, I, I'm not, I'm not going to vote to put something in front of that bay window. I just, whether it's got a railing, whether it doesn't have a railing, I think it really ruins the curb appeal. And that's why I was trying to get to understand what you needed. And it sounds like. You need a bigger landing in front of just the door on the right hand side to get a wheelchair to stage to come out. And I, I think you can do that in a lot of different ways instead of spending money to put a, a deck that you're going to have to paint or pressure treat or wash or it, it's a bigger headache than those steps are, are right now. So I, I would encourage you to, to maybe we could table this and you could maybe go to Middleton Lumber and say, hey, I went to the historic district or, or go to Home Depot. There, there's a lot of folks who have design stuff. Um, yeah, but I don't want, like, wooden stairs. Okay, uh, I don't want those preset cement stairs. And the first contractor I talked to said to me, I didn't even have to go in front of you, the board, which I know was wrong, mm. because it is not attached to the house. The way he was doing it, it was coming like, one inch of the house. So as long as it's not attached, I didn't have to go in front of the board. And I said, well, I'm glad you knew better because that is incorrect. I don't think so. And I'm sorry to be the kind of the, the you know, I, I, I'm listening to everyone and I think we're all feeling exactly the same. And I, I will be the voice of that and say, I'm really sorry. But the, the way the character of this house is, I, I'm not going to approve a, a deck of any sort across that bay window. I'm just not. I'm happy to approve two sets of stairs. Um, I'm what happy type to, of stairs are you looking at? I mean, I, you know, I think we would approve a lot of different. I, you know, people are shaking their heads. I think we would approve Azac. I think we would approve cement. I think we would approve brick repair. I think it's easy enough to say and tell me if I'm incorrect on this, Kim. But I think what you're proposing here for materials, we would be okay approving for separate stairs, yes. just not a deck across the front. I, I think that's absolutely fine. I don't have an issue with what the stairs are made of. I just have an issue with you kind of maligning that bay window, which is for me a defining feature of your house. Okay. And so I, I you know, I would make a, a couple, like I'm, what we have often said to people is, we are happy to table your your um, proposal and let you go talk to other people and come back so you can still be on our agenda next month if you wanna spend a month talking to other contractors or, you know, Googling local masons who I think would probably have a better idea for you because I can see a local mason just extending out those brick steps for you or giving you the stone that you want and just a bigger landing on some of those steps. But the landing right now is <coughs> that probably the only thing that is fine is the landing. Okay. The sides of the bricks, this is what is coming apart. Okay. So there's a lot of local so. masons that that work in town who are reasonably priced. I've had them work on my own house. It might be worth it to call a mason and come back to us in a month rather than, otherwise we can all take a vote. I, you know, sorry, I, I'm not gonna vote for this project. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Mativia. Um, 
personally, I'm, I'm kind of on board with what Kim said. However, I could have could have been swayed to have a full front porch if there was some really great presentation of what the end product would have looked like. Um, the photos that you provided are square balances of someone else's home. The drawing that he provided you is just some lines and we're trying to use our imagination to what this these pictures look like stuck on the front of your house and my imagination says I don't like that and maybe there was an idea that you had that you didn't present correctly and a better rendering of what could work better there we I may you know, may have liked better but I'm with Kim a bit that I think the white railings in front of all of that the facade and that front face of your house is very historic and is awesome and I think that railing system and the part of that deck is going to detract from that and that's our job here is to not let that happen and then <clears throat> further I know it's not a cost consideration for us but the price on this for the nine thousand is to build this deck with the railings. Um, that's probably comparable to replacing the brick steps. So I agree with Kim on if you'd agree to it to potentially table this and come back with potentially plan B or stick to your guns and hear what we have to say about this plan being A. But Currently, I wouldn't be in favor of how it is as as presented right now. So, unless there's some amendments to the plan, or you're willing to table it, I, I'm kind of very hesitant to allow that in front of your house. Because my other option, instead of doing stairs on each side, was to do since I have two sets of stone uh, stairs for each. Um, like the retaining wall, I have stairs from the street to the first and then to almost to the, not to almost the front door, but that stair, it was to do the round stairs in between to come down to kind of meet mm -hmm. the, you know, the, the sequence. That would be okay. Yeah. I think, I think all of us would be much happier with that than what we're getting. So I guess the ball's a bit in your court. Would you be willing to table this and returning to us with a modified application? In January, I suppose. That's fine. Well, no, uh, next one is uh, next, or next month, maybe. I don't know if it's, this is the last meeting of the year or not. Oh, no, no, no. no. We have Christmas. meetings every month. So even if you can't be ready for October's meeting, you can come November. Whenever you have the information you feel like you want to move forward with, if we table, you can come back when you're ready to come back. You don't feel like we have to rush you to come back in October. No, then no, we no. would hear you on an old business. to get it done before the winter. Okay. And <clears throat> if it's not approved, obviously nothing is going to happen until April at the earliest. Oh. Because we don't know about the snow situation and well they build all winter just sometimes it's slower but it, you you could be heard next month as early as next month um which is our what's the date it would be october october next 12th month, yes 20th the third no the, yeah it's the third wednesday fourth fourth wednesday, third wednesday of, month. of each month at 24th it'll be the 23rd Normally, so, or well, the last, I don't know. 23rd. 23rd, okay, there you go. So it'd be the 23rd of next month to return to us with Plan B. And I think you've got a feel of what we're getting at and what we may be looking for. So, you know, if you're willing to do that, we'd be entertaining that idea if you want to table it. We can't table it. You have to table it. No, I understand that, but then... <clears throat> if I did the, the stairs in the middle to match, you know, the others, I, I would still have, I still would like to have it from one end to another as for the platform. If that's your plan B, then return with it with that design. How can you make it to the stairs if it's not connected, you know? What do you, 
I, I guess the question is, are you, are you willing to continue it till next month, or do you want to? You want us to vote on this? Well, I'll, we contact a person and see if he can help me. If he ain't know me, I'll just try to find out somebody else. You know, uh, we can't I, give you recommendations, but I would reach out to a mason. I think that that's the prevailing sense among those of us who are sitting here is that I would not reach out to a deck builder. I would reach out to a, a stone person, a mason. A hard, hardscape yep. or mason is probably the trade I would well, lean to. I, I did reach out to a stone person, and what they wanted was $30,000. Wow. And... Yeah. So that's why I, I backed away and trying to find uh, something more affordable that I can do, uh, which was the ASAC and, and the track. But if you want me just to find somebody to tear those <coughs> things up and we really on. we really don't want you to. We're not after you to find someone else. We just. My general consensus, if it was a vote on today. It'd be a no. no. Yeah. yeah. Unless you modified it, and, but then I think if you come up with a plan, a better plan and pictorial presentation for your own good, and then return to us next month, I think we'd all be better off. But you have to make that decision if you're wanting to table this or not. The other thing, if you go back to your contractor, even if it is still this contractor, he will be able to tell you, okay, it's going to be this far off the ground, which will then tell us, does it have to have that railing? Because right now we're speculating about the railing and we can't tell you, okay, we're gonna approve it without a railing and then it comes to building it and it has to have it, right? We don't wanna put you in that predicament. So- um, Well, you raise the ground. Yeah, so it's just one of those, like, it's hard to say, I would approve this today without the railing because I don't know that you can't have it without the code. So it's one of those, I think, if you can get a little more information from your contractor, whether if he answers you or another one answers you, that's the information we really need to have. Because okay. if you're more than willing to get rid of that railing, I know you've heard a couple of different things, but that's kind of my sticking point is I don't want that railing across the front. No, I mean, so. I, I can't. And if I did the, 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 you know, I don't even know if you approved the, you know, the round stairs because the other ones are straight. Uh, but no, I didn't, I don't want, I don't want railing. I thought it, and I thought wrong. That the railing was well, you wrong. might be thinking, right, it all comes down to what code is going to enforce and you have to know where, how tall, exactly it's going to be for that yeah, to come if in I, if i do the, the wider stairs um there'd be a minimum railing on you know just the corners and i would have no problem if it's just on the corners it's more of that across the yeah, facade no. so potentially you, you could reach out to the building official have them make a visit and i'm sure they'll do a courteous visit to describe what you're talking about and see where you stand and see if the railings were or were not required okay but it does sound like you're amenable to tabling, and if that's the case, I don't believe we have to do a motion unless she has to ask. you would have to ask that. Otherwise, we would have to vote on how you submitted tonight. So the question back to you, would you like this to be tabled to the next meeting? Yes. All those in favor of having it tabled then, I guess, Mr. Chair? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, Ms. Schoen? In favor, yes. Oh, I, I thought you were uh, No, sorry. Don't we have to make a motion to still table it? Just No, we just have to vote to table it. Yeah. Okay. She asked, we have to vote All right, to table. so then I guess everybody in favor of tabling this until our October 23rd meeting? Raise your right hand. Opposed? So the motion passes, and this is tabled till our October meeting. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Just a heads up too, if, if for whatever reason you're not really prepared to come in for next month, don't have to worry about it. You can be reheard on an old uh, old agenda item, but you'd have to inform the uh, planning department of those intentions, but you can be right on the agenda for next month. So, uh, um, well, I know how to reach Anna too, because she's the one you. that put the package together. That's how it works. Except I couldn't get the picture by last Wednesday. And uh, anyway, okay, so um, I'll 
Trying to come up with some ideas. I want to make that house front prettier. To me right now, it's not. And I want to make it prettier. That's it. But also, you no, know, to the period. No, and we very much appreciate that you want to make your house more curb appeal, you know, but also usable. So I'm looking forward to you coming back next month and seeing what you come up with. So very much appreciate you coming back. Okay, thank you. All right. Next on the agenda, we have under new business uh, 5B, Main Street Handyman LLC is seeking a certificate of appropriateness to create a new entryway and relocate the existing gas meter on a property located at 66B High Street in the business with historic overlay district, Assessor's Map 11, Lot 215, HDC case number 45-2024. And do we have a representative here from that? Uh, Ms. Mears, do you have additional info for this? Hold on a minute. Um, the application applicant is seeking to install a new door to access the apartment door. Door is proposed to be located where a previously enclosed window is located. Gas connections and lines will need to be relocated for the installation of the door. And... Um, Anna worked really hard on trying to get uh, as much information to the board as possible for this application. So, uh, I think. All right. <clears throat> um, the applicant, do you mind just stating your name for the record? Uh, Peter Merrow. You can stand up, Mike. Sorry. All right. Do you have anything to add to it? Um, no. I'm open for the questions and so. stuff. So I'll start. I, I am grateful for the pictures. Um, so there's a picture that has little blue post-its on it. I don't know if you yeah. have them. So it looks like the meters and things are literally going to move under the gas, the fire. It says move under the fire alarm, which is the red thing in the other picture with a door that's kind of a mess. That is where it's going? Yeah, it'd be over farther that way, yes. Okay. So is there any proposal to repair the pieces under that red box at all? No. Okay. Um, and then there's a, I think it's a granite lintel where that door is going to go. Are you pulling out the brick and making that a full door? Or are you leaving the lintel and putting steps up to that lintel? No, it's going to go to the ground. If you turn the page, you'll see the door that's right next to it. Okay, so the so part of your proposal is not just removing the um, gas lines; it's also removing the lintel and putting a, a door, a, like breaking through the brick and putting a door there. Correct. Okay, those are my questions. Anybody else? Ms. Nyan. Is the um, width of the existing opening wide enough for a door? Yes, it's it's forty two inches. Okay. And the door is only going to be 36. So it will be cased in basically the same. If you go to the next page, you'll see where they've enclosed one in mm -hmm. with the side trim. And basically, I'll be just matching to that one that's next to it. Ms. Barry? On the door you're proposing to match, there seems to be some kind of um, awning um, structure over the door. Sorry, I'm not coming up with the right word for this. No awning. Awning. Um, are you looking to add that as well? Because I don't believe I saw that on the proposal. I wasn't because the one that's over that door shouldn't even be there. Okay. Not safe. Sorry. <laughs> Mr. Mativia? What did you state your name as? Peter Merrill. Peter Merrill? Um, he's not an applicant agent. Uh, yes, I see his name here. Who is Corey Bachman? My secretary. Uh, it's underneath on the gray. Go to the gray. Um, we saw it. Right here. Okay. 
Because it wasn't signed. So you... We just have to make sure the property owner gave you permission to talk about this property. Otherwise, we have to have them here. So that's the reason for the question. Right. So, okay. I see it listed in smaller print here now. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so your intent is you're really going to, like, take the windowsill brick down to pavement level and then turn that space into a door. Yes. Where, and, and so the gas lines are going to need to be relocated by Unitel? Yeah, Unitel said they can bring it over to the right that's a area on that side and bring it back in. All right. Because there's, it's pretty tight right now to the gas meters and door openings and very limited space. So right. You, you know, Unitel has to put it where they only can, so. Correct. <clears throat> And that doorway is going to match the doorway with the storm door, not the doorway with that double door and the crown molding. Right, the not one, that one. No, the one with the storm door. The one door. with the single door with that bad looking awning. That's what you're matching. Yeah. Okay. And the double door is just going to stay the way it is, just closed off so it's not usable. Um, I will just say I appreciate that you're using an already punch through of this building. I understand you have to expand it a little bit to bring it down. Um, I like that you're not proposing to create a whole brand new opening. Um, I like that you're gonna leave the curved from what I can tell that you're going to match to that curved top is, well, actually I am gonna ask that because it looks like the other door is taller where that arch came in and there is probably a foot or two gap. Uh, so I just want to make sure you're not going to hurt that arched brickwork because these no, are the smaller. Brick that's there is staying. None okay. Of that on the, everything on the top and the sides is staying. It's just the bottom that will be coming out. Okay. Can I just add? Yep. I did take a look before the meeting tonight, and this in this photo, this window to the right to the side of this door is actually lower than the opening that he'll be using. Thank you. That clarifies because I was like, oh wait, oh my gosh. Um, so, so yeah. yeah, this one here is, is is lower than any of the other openings on that facade. Yeah, that is exactly going to be my question because I, it, I thought you were going to have to expand up as well. No, but there's enough room there to do that without yeah, more getting into enough. the top of the window. Yep. And then my other comment to this, because this is the back side of the building, I don't mind the door since we already have one there um, to mimic. Um, I actually really don't have much of a problem with this one. I gas meter that's going to come down to them code as long as it's out of the way and they do it to code i'll be fine with it um yeah i don't have a big concern with this using a current opening Ms. Mathia? really i just have a curiosity question how are you then access the meter i mean it's not our approval but i know right behind that door is my bank of meters electric no, meters. It's, the, it's enough to the right so through that door when you go through that door um there's all doors on the right they're behind those doors and then them doors. I mean, it doesn't matter for here but no, 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 i but thought that led right to those meters so yeah it, it, right. there's a, just the hall that goes down through and they're all on the right hand side all separate doors that are locked I make a motion we approve the application as as uh, proposed. I don't have an issue with this. It's on the back side of the property. And that's a second from Ms. Mary. All right. Um, all those in favor of the motion, raise your right hand. Those opposed? Can I add just one thing? Uh, if we're going to approve this, I, I would like to see this other window repaired here where all the fire alarm is. I mean, you said you were going to leave that alone. I, 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 I wouldn't want to see that left alone. I can do my best to get him to do it. I mean, if you got to take the pieces out of that one, just pop them in next door. You got them right just into pop it. The pieces next door. <laughs> yep, I can do that. So, do we need to? I don't know, and I'm curious about point just for Kim because she would have to amend hers. Michelle, can we add that as a condition, considering that's not the part they're working on? Be or is it part of the application because of the gas meter being moved to that location? Just for clarity. 
I think you could make an argument that it's part because the gas meter is being moved there. Okay. Uh, I will, make, need I will make a motion to amend to say we will approve as written provided, however, that the same board features that you're moving get relocated to where the fire alarm is so that it looks symmetrical and repaired so that we're not seeing the backside of what looks like article board. Plywood, yeah. Plywood. Can I suggest an alternative to that Absolutely. amendment to uh, fill in window gap where fire alarm and gas meter will be located to mimic other openings that are sealed? That works. I like that amendment. Yeah, I'm writing that down. I can right restate. Now. I know how hard it is. <laughs> that way you can tell them we told them it had to be done. What's that? That way you can tell them we said it had to be done. Yeah. So. Done. So to fill in the window with the vertical boards as the one that's becoming a door now has. Correct. Basically. To mimic, because they have multiple openings of windows that are, have that vertical boards to mimic the other filled in openings. Okay. And I should note, he did mention something about sealing off the existing door, but that should be left exposed. No, no, it's just going to be locked. So, okay, it's just locked. It's Great. Used. Okay. Yeah, so that's a very nice that's a very nice feature and you do see it from the street. Yeah. The existing door. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that I would not be in favor of moving <laughs> or at covering. All. Exactly. That opening used to have big steel doors over it. Really? That's what all those big hinges pinch pins are on the wall. Can I say one more thing? I'm trying to be a pain in the neck here, but is this, uh, I got cataract surgery coming up, so I'm having a hard time reading. Uh, is this going to have a awning over it too, like the other no. door? No. Oh, okay. Did you mention that other awning is being removed? He's just supposed to be taking it down. Oh, okay. Repeat the motion, please. For me or for Richard's writing? I yeah, I'm, I'm writing it, so bear with me a minute. All right. I think that it's approved with conditions. So the, the motion would be to add vertical boards to finish window openings as existing blocked window opening now has where the door will be replaced. Correct. Is that? I think you get the point across. <laughs> the stuff that's in the other window holes make it look like that. But Michelle, uh, can you confirm that code enforcement wouldn't have a problem with that yeah, I write-up? I tried to neaten up the word in a little bit, but yeah. as we, I started writing it, that's how it came out. We'll, we'll be okay. We'll go back and look at the minutes of how. All right. As, essentially, the opening that is not, that is going to become a door, those vertical boards are going to be move over. moved over to fill in the other blocked window yep. so that it now matches. Okay. Does that cover all the amendments to this mm -hmm. motion? Okay, so your motion still stands with those amendments. You still second it. Now, all those in favor of the motion as it is now, raise your right hand. And opposed? Motion passes 7 to 0. And that is approved. The city staff will get you the approval. I just paper. have a minor question on this. This is the building next to the one that we approved the gable? Yes. Okay. So, do you know when that's going to start? I'm just curious. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I was just curious. All right. So, set. Yes. Thank you. Thank yep. you. All right. Uh, do we have any other new business that comes before the board? Okay. Seeing none, moving on to workshop business. We have election of officers tonight. So, obviously, we, as Laura, being elected to the 
city council. She's now our city council representative. I'm the current vice chair, but we need to vote on both the chair and a vice chair position tonight. So do we have any nominations for, we'll start with chair and- I nominate down. you for chair. Thank you, do we have a second for that? I'll second that. All right, do we have any other nominations for chair? I'm gonna nominate Mr. Mativia for chair. I'm an alternate. Oh. We can change that, we have two positions open. <laughs> I was going to put George forward, but I don't believe he would accept the nomination. Okay. So, but Tim, did you accept Richard's nomination? I'm an alternate. <laughs> That's not an excuse. I think we've had three chairs put in who were alternates at the time. Me, for one. I suppose I wouldn't be opposed to it, but I think Richard is better suited for that position. Fair enough, then I, so if you accept, do we need a second for a, a nomination? I didn't think of that. I do believe they just have to accept the nomination and then we vote. All right, so I guess we'll do a roll call vote and vote either Nativia or Brooks. So we'll start with this. Nine. Well, before we vote, do both of you want to say anything about the nominations? Like if you have a preference and non-preference, any comments from those we're possibly electing? I'm an alternate. <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna get you far here. Very happy as an alternate, we got that. Um, I'm specifically kind of looking, Mr. Brooks, if you prefer to be a vice chair versus a chair, if you have any qualms one way or another, just no, curiosity just simply, wise. I was just simply putting it out there for options. Yeah, so it's not just me, you know, having a choice in the matter, I guess, but. Can I ask if Councilor Goodman, Goodwin also gets to sit or is he no longer? No, he, he was the council representative prior to this, but with Laura okay. being appointed okay. to that, he is now not on okay. the board. So yeah, if you remember last month, we had discussed about doing nomination, but held off because- You didn't know who was coming, right. And didn't know the rules, and the rules are that you can't have two councils. Done. So unfortunately, we lost a member essentially in right. the voting. City he council. Over. He brought some interesting. Yeah, he, was he did. He brought some interesting. So, okay, continue with the vote now. All right. So, Miss Nyan, I vote for you to be chair. I was gonna say, hold on. I need to know how we're voting. Are we voting for who we want out of the two applicants, or are yes. we doing a round of? Who we want? I thought that's yes. Right. Okay. I just didn't know if we're saying okay a name or if we're doing Richard first and then Tim. I mm. I just need a clarification. I just say state the name of who you would vote for, and I'll keep track and see where we end up. All right. So, Miss Barry, I'll go with Richard. Richard. George. Richard. Mr. Brooks. Richard. All right, I guess that's the unanimous. So, the I'm um, an alternate. Mm. All right. So. Um, yeah, next we need a vice chair. Do we have any nominations for vice chair? I actually would like to see Adam as our vice chair. I'd like to see some of our newer members maybe take a couple of these positions. <coughs> I don't know if he'll accept it. I didn't warn him I was gonna do this, but. Um, I probably should have started with this. Um, I probably, I, I will not be seeking reappointment on the commission. So as far as nominations, I wouldn't accept any since I won't be here to fulfill those <laughs> positions. All right, good to know that I'm going to retract my nomination for Adam and I'm gonna to go to Liz for my nomination then. Do you accept that? I would like to know more about what are the duties of the vice chair. So the vice chair only really comes into play and to correct me if I'm wrong, Richard, is if the chair cannot be at a meeting that you would just take over running the meeting for that that chair. Mm -hmm. that they night. basically just sit up here and run the meeting if the chair is not available. I don't really believe there's other duties other than that. Obviously the chair oversees signing off on applications as they come in, but you know, there's days to do that, so it's not usually something where you can't get a hold of the chair. So I and don't think should the crowd out. become unruly, it's your job to keep them in their place <laughs> if you're the chair, sitting chair, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, I can accept that nomination, and I would also like to nominate Mr. Mativier for the vice chair. Is that right? Do we have a, does Mr. Mativier accept the vice chair nomination? I, I would accept the vice chair, but I would nominate Kim. <laughs> we have lots of votes on this one. I would accept the vice chair. I don't want to be chairman, but I would accept the vice chair. All right, is there any other nominations here? All right, so again, we'll do the roll call on this and just state the name of who you vote for, and this time we'll start with Mr. Powers. I vote for Kim. I will vote for Tim. You said Kim, right? Yeah. Or there. Tim or Kim? Kim. I don't think I can vote for myself, so I guess I'm going to vote for Tim. <laughs> George. With who? Please vote for someone specific. <laughs> Hey, gotta make a decision. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll go with Kim. I'll say Kim. I'll say Kim Sean. I'm gonna say Liz just because I put her up. <laughs> I know both of you will do a great job, so. And I'll Liz? say Kim. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> the vote tally comes up to five for Kim, two for Tim, and one for Liz. So, Kim is the vice chair. <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> the sigh of relief, Tim. Nice. Okay. So, then, other workshop business. Uh, sorry. Yeah, we don't have any other workshop business that I'm aware of. Oh. Um, I was holding off sending a communication to the school until we knew who our new leadership was going to be, so I will make sure to put Richard on a communication with them, just checking in on status if they're ready to have the conversation about editing the plaque. Um, and I will make that connection so then we can possibly schedule a they're follow three, up. They're three weeks into their year now, so they should be ready for some sort of decisioning. Nice. But we're, to your <clears throat> point, kind of still at a hold um, until we hear back from them. So, but I will reach out and make sure new leadership is on that communication. Fair enough. Any other workshop business? Um, I believe you still have the all the plaques and blanks, right? The school actually has oh, the, the blanks. Has I gave the blanks them out. all okay. of them that we ha or that you have passed on currently. If you have more, let me know. I can still bring them. I didn't. To them. I stopped collecting them, but anytime if you think more are required, I mean, it's truly an endless supply. So nice. Yeah. I think they have quite a few to start us off. If we go through them fast, they should let us know. But um, yes, I will, as soon as I know, I will reach out. <laughs> All right. Any other workshop business? Seeing none, we'll move on to communications and miscellaneous. And we'll start with Ms. Barry. All right. I have a couple of communications and miscellaneous. Um, I have been appointed um, by our mayor that I will be the chair of the joint commission between us and uh, the city council. So be on the lookout for those who are on that commission to receive an email from me about setting that next meeting up because I know a few of us could not make the first meeting and we haven't had one since. Um, also, I just wanted to let others on this board know that a prior member of ours passed away in June. Mr. Pius Charles Murray. I just became aware last month um, and I missed pronouncing it at the meeting. So I just wanted to let everybody know that he has passed. Um, so I just wanted to share that information. He went through some struggles. Yes, sorry to hear that. He did serve with us a long time and I know he did have certainly some struggles with his health. So sorry to hear that. Any other communications or miscellaneous? Mr. Mativia. <clears throat> I'd like to point out, so this is totally coincidental, the, the applicant we last heard, that property has a fairly large sign that was installed facing constitutional, not const, um, it's constitutional way, I almost said Orange Street, but it used to be that. Um, and I don't remember hearing or seeing that in minimal impact reports. It announces that it's a private parking lot and it's it's fairly large. It's about three and a half by five. Um, it's low to the ground. It's right in the way. I'm not sure when it was installed. And, and it's probably more than likely it was 
pot stalled like last year, but I only noticed it a couple of months ago. And I just failed to I, bring that up. Yeah, it's right by the entranceway to the parking lot that runs out behind this property. Yeah. On <coughs> it's right there. It's a very large on the lawn sign. The sidewalk, yep. I'm familiar with it. I um, do recall it now you mention it. Secondly is newly installed red LED rope lighting around the courtyard of the entrance to Villa Pizza. We had it approved, a facade change there, which came out great. And then unbeknownst during that process, they added um, a feature that in, wraps around that alcove of sorts. And it's, it has to be, you know, 400 looms. It's, it's bright. It lights up the entire alcove. I'm surprised that tenants of the neighboring apartment haven't complained how bright that is. It's, it's glowing red like a fireball coming out of that thing. And I happened to be driving through town a few days ago at 3 in the morning. Um, and it was on and bright. And you can see it from almost, you know, way up the road. As soon as you can see Villa Pisa, it's right there. So I'm not sure how that played out. And the lights that are attached to Borderline Beverage, um, they've lessened their use but they certainly haven't ceased their use and they are very bright and they were not approved feature that we came through this board with um i do not believe they received a permit to install them prior to the installation maybe after the fact um and uh, they're bright enough that you can see from the, you know the meat butcher over in Berwick. You could you could read the paper from it reflecting that far off premise. So it's they're bad. Um, <clears throat> I believe he explained that it was to keep uh, vagrants from hanging around out back. But there are other ways to light that area than than massive floodlights of that caliber. They're big and bright. But that's the only communication I'd like to bring front of the board for consideration for looking into. Um, that's it. Any other communications or miscellaneous? That, I guess. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Seconded by Kim Schoen. Everybody in favor, raise your right hand. Opposed. Opposed. <laughs> Motion passes six to one. That would be funny.